Lord, you may be seated. Already the show is in camp in the they say that I have 50 minutes, but I'm going to do my best to be short. Because I said to myself, can we get a small time to praise him? Before I start, my voice is going to be slow. I don't shout. If I shout, that means you're sleeping. I know that it's very hot outside there. What cop uh, is waiting for us outside there? Maybe you are not concentrated. But wake up. Just be violent. It's a time that God speaks. And he has something to say that he wants to speak. Alléluia. Les œuvres de l'ennemi, qu'elles soient déclarées nulles et sans effet au nom de Jésus. Nous commençons avec toi et nous allons terminer avec toi. C'est dans le nom précieux de ton Fils, notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ, que nous donnons ainsi de prier. Amen. Nous avons un peu de J'ai béni le Seigneur pour notre présence. Je remercie le bien-aimé évangéliste. Nous avons un peu de temps. Nous avons un peu de temps. Je remercie aussi les serviteurs qui sont là. I thank all the servants that are here. The Lord has given us strength to come here. All the people are coming from the night vision. But we sacrifice ourselves to come here. May God bless us. Amen. And I saw all the servants in the back. May God bless all of us. Everything that may become out will be. This is a work that the Lord has put in each one of us. I want to say something that all servants intervened. If you were here since in the beginning, you see that there were a riches in things that people spoke. God uses each one according to the glory or the grace that He put in everyone. Uh, that's true that the topic was only one. For everyone, the way He lived it, if you were here and listening, you see that there is always something that happened in what you knew before, and something was clarified in the way that you knew that before. And the person just opened up things that blessed you. And I believe that everyone here got something that can change our lives and may help us to understand things of, about disciples. My work, I just want to uh, show something. I want to be brief, I want to say it briefly. And then I'm going to speak about challenges. And I'm going to speak about challenges of disciples. When I was there, I saw people sleeping. Please be awake. I'm not going to speak so many verses because they are given to them. Since yesterday I was only listening to verses. What I can add is just, just the word they said before. I can only comment in things that he has been saying for our Lord Jesus. The only verse that I can come back to is the principal uh, scripture. Matthew 28. But before we go back there, 
When the work started, the people that went before, they said so many things. One thing that we heard, they explained who, who was a disciple. A disciple is the one that followed the teaching, the teaching of Jesus. And they also use again to explain that. It's not only the preaching that we stand and explain that we are reading in the Bible. A disciple is also uh, above listening to the teaching. He wants to be like Jesus. He wants to be like Jesus. He did not hear. He did not hear only what they want to follow. A style, lifestyle of Jesus. The way Jesus was living. What Jesus was doing. What did he want his disciples to do? Disciple is on that journey. He wants to follow, he wants to imitate. So the objective for this, of a disciple is to be as his master. When he became as his master, that's when they call him, call him as a perfect one. Everything be accomplished as Jesus wanted. We heard that. And after that, they show us that to be a disciple, there are so many things. Our reference master is Jesus. So we just want to follow Jesus because they make us aware that there are so many masters on this earth. So many people, they want to be followed by people. And that way is bringing people in an unknown way. But we want to be a disciple that will follow only Jesus. To be a disciple, they show that you have to sacrifice yourself. There are things that you have to give up, and you are doing them and you give them. Things that you love, you can leave them away. They give us a story of a rich man. Go and sell everything that you have and follow me. Pastor Jano came and reminded us that there is a price. You can't be a disciple just like that. Everyone has his price according to the reality of his life, the situation that you are going through. The Lord knows that there is something that may be your price that you have to pay. Something maybe you, you didn't do before and the Lord wants you to be doing. And it can be like a sacrifice in your life. So that the life of a disciple is a testimony life. When they look at you, they see your master true. They see Jesus true. you. And the life of a disciple is a powerful life in this earth that Satan does, is putting away. When there is a disciple, we can see the glory of God. We can see the power of God. The victory that the Lord has promised. You say that we are going to live in victory as disciples. We see them be manifesting. And they show us that we have to understand who is the disciple. Don't neglect yourself. You have a price in front of God. There is things that Jesus did for you and sometimes you are neglecting them. You are ignoring them. That's why he's putting you in your suffering. He's putting you in difficulties. 
By reading the Bible and see the scriptures, we are going to understand who are we and what can we do, which kind of life can we live for everything we are just remaining so many people were not here on Friday or yesterday you know. as you hear we just want to remind you about what we have been saying here and they show us what or how we can do ourselves as disciples. The question was being asking who can make a disciple? Who can make a disciple? It's not it's not pastor, no evangelist. To make disciples is a, a reproduction work. It's like to give birth. The someone that is born is the one that can make, that give birth. The one that is a disciple can make another disciple. If you are not a disciple, who are you going to give birth to? You have to be first of all a disciple before you start giving birth to disciples. It's for everyone as we hear. Each one is going to check his life. What does he do? In what does it do for him to give birth? But first of all, he has to look for You have to check your life. Am I really a disciple of Jesus? They say coming to church is not the one that makes you as a disciple. You can be 10, 15 years in the church. It doesn't mean that you are a disciple. They say even preaching doesn't make you a disciple. A disciple means only you are following a master. You are following Jesus and you want to be like Jesus. A disciple cannot hide himself. Even though he can't speak, they can look at him and see the work and they'll see that you are really different from others and they'll come and ask you how are you different from others other people still but you don't do it they, they, they insult you but you don't react some years back I went to a seminary in Cork it's about managing your behavior. And we were with white people. I think I was the only black person. And the one that gave that God said, if someone just insults you, what can you do? I was not understanding what he was saying. Someone just insults you badly. So I asked him, what's my problem? What are you feeling inside your heart? First of all, I answered that I know He really insults you in a bad way. And I answered that I was in fear. It didn't matter for me. And they said that you are not a good guy. 
So they were looking for someone to react straight away. So they will lead you from that case. For me, it doesn't matter for me. I came here and we looked at each other. In my face, it's not written anything. That they insulted me, it's not written there. So why will you worry about it? Just God forgive them. Because they doesn't know what they're doing. That is the master. If we can follow the situation that we're going through, so we can call ourselves as disciples. What we are speaking here is very important to, to just help us. But to pay a price, you have to sacrifice. The word is very important to form a disciple. But the word is not enough by itself. Yet you heard, you listen to the word. Example that you can see from your neighbor. We are reading Jesus in the world in his time. Also allow that at our time we can have example like him. They are people like us. With the example we can follow Jesus. But those examples are not enough yet. Someone that can make a disciple as a person, it's only Jesus of God. That's why we have to add prayer. They teach us. You have to make effort, but you have to pray more. Pray for yourself. If you want to be a disciple of someone, you want to make someone as a disciple, you have to pray for that person. Don't only speak, don't only criticize, don't only speak and change strategies as well. When you stop and I stop, God will put his hand and then he will transform. He's the one that perfects that can change. Everything that we do is just going to be a portion. When Jesus comes himself and put his hand, at that time the person will be praised. May God be praised. We said that we are going to speak about challenges of disciples. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. The Bible dit, allez faire de toutes les nations les disciples. Les baptisants, au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, et enseignez-leur à observer tout ce que je vous ai prescrit. Et voici, je suis avec vous tous les jours jusqu'à la fin du monde ou à la fin des temps. This is Jesus speaking. commission. Mm -hmm. The Great Commission of the Church. Amen. There are so many things that we change by ourselves. Churches are not forming uh, disciples. People doesn't come to church to be disciples, but they come to be blessed. They are just coming to be saved. They are coming to get saved. But the work of the church is not only that. In the Bible, there are so many things. But there, has, there is hierarchy of everything. Everything, every time that uh, things come in secondly, we are we putting them on the first place. Jesus put them in the first place. That people have to be disciples. Healing, blessing, deliverance come from disciples. But we change it our way. We don't want to be disciples, but we want healing, we want blessings, we want God to act. What he said, that go in all nations. And he said, in this day we are going to curse sickness, 
So many times in the church, we are only forming disciples for the church. If we have like one guest, the day, the <laughs> so we are going to clap very well because the Lord has done something. And after that, what are we going to do? We'll be calling him and follow. We want to make him as a member. When he became a member, that was it. We are 20 and now we are 21. But what is the mission of the church? Instead of making him as a disciple, but as he's coming, so all the things we can just accept. Because if he goes, it's going to be empty. <laughs> if you are coming as a family, you are so precious. Because if you just live, and the church is going to be empty. So we have to uh, carry on. You can come to church and go to uh, we have a responsibility as a master. In a church of 5,000 people, there is no those kind of things. But as a small amount of people, you be saying, you know what, we have to be patient. You don't have to be speaking now unless we lose the person. And if we lose him, he's going to go somewhere and they will take him there. But this is not the work that we have to do. God says that go. To make a disciple, the disciple is not your choice, choice but it is a right. You say, no, you have to go. As my disciple, you have to go and make all nations my disciples. Go means you have to move. How can you make a disciple when you are saying to do something, you have to go to go to another state? When he's going on the phone, you have to do a movement to call him to Jesus, to make him to sit, to make him sit to Jesus. Because if he's sitting in Jesus, he's going to sit to the church. But if you are only in the church, you are just pulling all the chairs. So, go is in order. Make. It's something that we have to learn, a strategy that we have to learn. Can we do it? Which stage can we, can we go? In our church, we don't form people. We don't tell them how to do it. The only thing that they know is just to gain people. Just to make an effort to bring a soul in the church. But we have to learn this. Satan has strategy, we have also to have strategy. Pastor Michel says that in all religion there is strategies. So we have to find strategy to gain people and to make them disciples. Go and do all the nation disciples. Where we fail is them. Go and make all the Congolese my disciples. Make all the people that are speaking my disciples. 
bring all the people that can speak Lingala to Jesus. This is our comfort zone. So we are comfort to see each other because we speak Lingala. And we stop by there. We cannot go above. And English is very difficult because we don't <laughs> but we have children. We have children that we can, amen, that we can prepare. Amen. Instead of me sitting, we have to go. As we came in a foreign country, we have to make an effort. Our church will make a comfort zone. It's not because we stop just to see each other. It's because we are we feeling comfortable. When we think that we are in family and we just feel great. We have to come out of that comfort zone. Jesus said, All nations. Disciples, if you need a mistake, Jesus said to them, Stay in Jerusalem. I give you a walk. But I didn't say go out. Until the promise will be accomplished. Don't go because you can't do it by yourself. They were in the upper room, praying and praying. And the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came down. The promise is accomplished. And the time was up. Now go and do all nations my disciples. And they were used to that between them in the comfort zone, speaking the same language, and they think that it was better to continue that way. But they were older, and he looked at them and said, If I leave them like this, no one is going to be done. He said that this good news has to go everywhere in the world. And then he had to come. And there were walking just between them. And God just sent persecution. He started beating them and we're praying, but we're suffering as well. <laughs> and they had difficult times. Between them, there were people full of the Holy Spirit. And that was the testimony of God Himself. And God said, I'm going to touch the people that are full of the Holy Spirit. And then they come and touch Etienne. They kill him on the battle. If they stone you, it's going to be very difficult. You are dying small by small. You are dying small by small. The man that was full of the Holy Spirit. And disciples look at this and say, if we continue, so they run away. As they were running, because the comfort that they were in, God didn't want it. They were persecuted and then they came out. Without that, we could not listen to the word of God. So God allowed it to Amen. And he said to them, as you rejected me, I'm going to the pagan. And pagan was out of the country. And then he started his journey. He started going far and far. 
The order that was given that time is now as well. We have to make all nations disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before to get a baptism, you have to get a teaching before. In that teaching, there is a repentance. You have to receive Jesus. Before the teaching people to bring them in the to receive Jesus, to transform and give their life to Jesus, to be disciples, teach them what I know to you. We were small in the group. Now just go, spend yourself. And here I'm with you till at the end of time. The work that you do for me that you can't, but I will be with you. I will be with you. I will do. Not your friend. He's difficult, but you see, I come with you. I put my And that promise is ours. The Lord is with us. The Holy Spirit is for us. To help us, to sustain us, for the work to be done. He gives us a warranty of His presence. In churches, we want to remember you. We have to make an effort to form not the disciple of the church, but disciple of Jesus. If I'm a model for someone else, my, my being model is to be is the way I follow Jesus. It's not just my stomach to be a model or my body or my belonging. The way I follow Jesus has to make people to follow me. Because I'm a living example, but they are looking, but they are seeing me through Jesus through me. So each one of us has to each one has to be a testimony to attract other people. The work is not is not we are not making disciples because it's not our priority in churches. We just want to gain members. We forgot our priority. People are in the church where we can't do anything for them. I say something that we have like the so we have that shame to go and approach people from other cultures. When we came in this country, we have a lady from somewhere. She was speaking very well English. Amen. I can't speak, I can't just. Sometimes we have to stand up. If you understand me, it's not going to be you, but it's going to be Jesus. You but if you are just counting to yourself, you are going to be stopped somewhere. If you do your work, it can go well or not, but it's Jesus. Don't worry, because you don't have obligation just to succeed. As I'm going, I have to win. It's just the obligation of making it happen. 
and to go to the right direction. But for me to succeed, it's depending on Jesus. If you did your work and it did not go well, don't worry. If Jesus could pay, he should have paid you because you did your work and then the rest is not you. Maybe you can bring so much effort but just bring two people in the world. It's not about the, the, the reward or something. We have to take away the shame. It's true that there is so much resistance. The people that the people that are so hard it is those ones that came from other church and they came out because they know the Bible. They know all the verses in the, the Bible. So you don't know what you're going to preach. If you say pray, he will tell you that I pray at home. Home and internet, so go and make disciples. Go and see, speak, teach the world. There is a very strong way, and the first one is not only the word that you are going to bring out, the first and strong way that you see someone be interested and you want to know is your only uh, uh, way of living. Your own attitude. When they look at you and they say that how is he looking like this? How does he behave like this? I have to go and find. At the time we were praying, it was maybe a retreat or night vision. And that church uh, in Ireland, we just saw white people coming in in the night. They just found us, uh, find us preaching and dancing for the Lord. When we got a break, they asked us, You are foreigners. But well, we are citizens here. Look at the way we are. We don't even have houses. We are homeless. We are living hard. We are drinking just to forget our situation. But you are foreigners. But you are happy. So what, what's going on? Why are you so happy like this? Can you tell us? We say that we have Jesus. All problems that you have, the solution is Jesus. As you come to Jesus, you get joy. Amen. That is the things that we have and we don't even realize them. God didn't say that we are not going to suffer. But He gave us a warranty. In your suffering, I'll be with you. But we want to show people that when you come in our church, you are not going to suffer. Offer. You are going to get your person. You are going to have children. The warranty of God is just that He's going to be as He is with you and then He's He wonders. You just have to find to be with Jesus. Make disciples is good. Amen. But to keep them as disciples is good. So many made disciples, but then we lost them, and then we heard them. So someone who was like a disciple, you that was like an example, and then you made them tired, and then they, they, they surrendered. I just followed him, he was like my mother. But look at what he's doing now. I give up. Amen. Amen. I'm going to stop by here.